Um, my Irish roots come from my grandma's side, so my mum's mum um, went down to Cove for the last few days um, in Cork, and yeah, we went and stayed with cousins, which was really nice and catching up. Um, yeah, it's so it's so beautiful. It's such a nice, nice place, and obviously the weather wasn't great, unfortunately, but you can tell um, it's got a really nice feel, and yeah, everyone there was so so lovely and welcoming, and yeah, no, it was a really really good trip. I think the cathedral obviously is incredible. Um, we actually went out to, I think, Ballymore. Um, we were down there, that's near where Michael and my cousins uh, live. So we were really cute little villagey um, and town, not much about. Um, I really like that personally. Um, so yeah, some really, really special places there. Yeah, so going to Cove Ramblers again, it was, it was amazing. They made me feel really welcome. All the girls were, were so lovely and asking me a few tricky questions, but they presented me with a really lovely Cove Ramblers shirt, um, which again is something that's really special to me. I'm going to put that with my Irish jerseys for sure back at home and yeah, it's something I'll, I'll always remember and treasure. Yeah, it was really cool. I think, like I said, the, the young Irish girls of today, I, they, they were asking me questions and I actually said if I had a bit of advice, you know, oh to be 10 years younger because they're in such a great age now where women's football is accessible, women's football's growing um, and so many people in the Irish women's team before before us even have, have, have left kind of a legacy and I think if we can get to a World Cup and, and continue to do that these young girls are gonna dream of being professional footballers and and want to be a Katie McCabe or want to be a you know Denise O'Sullivan and, and that's actually going to be a reality for, for the upcoming generation so that's I think something that's more important than football in general it's the the legacy that you leave behind in terms of like I said for the, the young Irish girls of today the Finland game um yeah it's like I say it's a bit surreal it's a bit um makes you emotional doesn't it really and when you actually think of in terms of the Irish women's football history like what an important goal um it actually was and I don't think it really sunk in until like say all the things leading up from this into into the game on Tuesday have kind of put us in this position. So yeah, it was a really, really emotional day and like I say, something I'll treasure forever.